What is up you guys? Welcome to Skate Sage. Today I hit 100 subscribers. So I just want to give a huge thank you to all the people that have subscribed to the channel. I know it's a brand new thing. I know that I'm still learning, but thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys. I see you. I see comments. I see your likes. Thank you for helping me get off to a strong start on this platform. My goal by the end of the summer is to have 150 subscribers. Hopefully if we keep up the same pace that we have right now, that goal should be pretty easy to meet and maybe even surpass. So again, 100 subscribers, thank you guys so much. It's all about the symbiotic relationship between you and I, you and I. On to the topic of the video. Are you even a real skate channel if you don't have a board setup plus Q and A? So that's what I'm doing in today's video. I'm gonna be setting up my new skateboard. I am going to be setting up this 8.5 almost deck. Pretty nice, pretty good looking board. This is the second 8.5 deck that I've ever skated in my whole skate career. This was my previous board, the one that I'm changing out. My This is a chocolate pop secret 8.5 deck, Elijah Burl. I was really satisfied with this deck. If you wanna watch my review of it, go click on the card above and do that. I skated this board for about a month and a half and it's just starting to feel a little old. It's still in pretty good condition. I'm starting to get some razor tail back here and I've had this clear grip tape uh, in my office for a few weeks now and I'm getting really anxious to set it up because I've never used clear grip tape before. So I got my almost skateboard. I got my clear mob grip. I am skating Royal Trucks uh, and Spitfire Wheels with Bones Swiss bearings. Actually, I have a mixed bag of bearings. Some of my bearings are Spitfire bearings. Others of them are, I don't even know. And I've got my little hardware pieces. I don't remember what brand these are, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. And since this is my first time skating clear grip, I've got a bunch of stickers that I've been saving up, so I'm gonna to try to do some deck art because these stickers will be visible through my grip tape, which is sick. And I'm excited about the aesthetic of a clear grip setup. My first impression of this stuff is that it is really, really grippy. I'm surprised how clear it is. Just look how well you can see the mob symbol through the grip. Hopefully it performs just the same as black grip tape. I've never heard anything really bad about clear grip, so we'll see how it goes. Just a heads up on the Q&A questions. Since I'm a brand new channel and I don't really have a big following either on YouTube or on Instagram or anywhere else, I decided it wouldn't be a great idea to just open up the floor to questions from my, say like my Instagram followers like most YouTubers do because I only have like 200 something followers and I just don't think the response rate would have been that great. Hopefully next time that I do a q and I will have gained more followers so that I can interact more with you guys. But for my first time, what I did is I went and watched a few Q&A videos from some of my favorite skateboarding YouTubers, and I collected a number of questions that those guys were asked for me to answer for you guys. So just in case you're wondering where my questions came from, that is where. All right, so we're gonna wanna start out with the stickers. I have a whole little pile of stickers right here. I probably don't wanna use them all. I wanna make sure I do a really good job at, at this. This thing has to look good because I'm gonna be looking down at it all the time with the clear grip. Start with this almost sticker. I think maybe if I cut it, cut it like this, throw it down right there. Looks good. Let's go ahead with the Q&A. So the first question that I thought would be fun to answer would be, what is my favorite trick? What is my favorite trick? My favorite trick is probably a Nolly tray flip. I love doing that trick. I do it all the time. It's really fun. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. My favorite trick is a Nolly tray flip. Phase one is my local skate shop here in Tallahassee, Florida. 
just in case you were wondering. I think for this sticker, I want to do like maybe something up on the nose or back on the tail. Let's go with that double cut. Not a great cut job on my part, I'll be honest. All right, next question. Favorite shoes, my favorite skate shoes. My favorite skate shoes that I've ever had are actually the Vans Elijah Burl Pro Shoes that I'm still skating to this day after having skated, skated the same pair for over five months. I did a review video over these shoes in one of my earlier videos you want to go watch it but yeah those shoes the Vans Elijah Burl Pros are the bomb they're super durable they skate really well i would never got a single here hill bruise in those shoes highly recommend them relief skate supply is a really sick skate shop in Panama City Florida which is about two hours from from me all right, we've got a Temporary Enterprises sticker. Temporary Enterprises is a skate deck brand started by a friend of mine from Knoxville, Tennessee. And I actually have one of their decks and I'm gonna skate it probably after this one. Uh, but it's just like a little local brand. It's Temporary Enterprises. Throw that one down here. Then finally, we've got the Vans off the wall sticker. Let's throw that down here on the tail since I haven't really got any stickers down on this end. This is gonna be easier to apply because I feel like I can actually see the board under the grip. When I go to lay it down Oh no, came up short over here. Oh crap, I ripped, <laughs> I ripped the van sticker off. Oh no, what a disaster. All right guys, well there you have it. I am terrible at gripping skateboards. Okay, well shame on me for my horrible, hideous, ugly grip job here. The clear grip does behave a little bit differently than regular grip. It seems like it's a little heavier and it seems like it sticks a little bit easier. The, the adhesive seems to be a little stronger than with regular grip tape. So I got all these ugly wrinkles in my grip now. But it's just a skateboard, right? I'm gonna be, it's gonna be subjected to lots of abuse anyways. I'll try to roll some of these bubbles out. I promise I'll do a better job gripping my board next time. I'm really upset about this. Anyways, on to the next question. How long have I been skating? How long have I been skating? I have been skating for 13 years. I started skating when I was 13 and now I'm 26. But there is a catch to this story. So I started skating when I was 13 and I skated really heavily for two years and I got really good. And then due to circumstances beyond my control, I was forced to quit skateboarding. I could have started skating again in my later teenage years because the circumstances that made me quit went away but I was too distracted with popularity and 
girls and social status and things like that. I didn't get back into skateboarding until I was 20. So I took a five year break from skateboarding from the ages of 15 to the age of 20. How did I get into skateboarding? So I think like a lot of people who got into skateboarding in middle school around like from like 2004 to 2008 or so, whenever like punk rock and Green Day and all that stuff was in and like Tony Hawk's American Wasteland and like Viva La Bam and all all that stuff, just that big explosion in the skateboarding world that took place from like 2005 to 2008. I got exposed to skateboarding through its mainstream popularity due to like the Tony Hawk video games and Viva La Bam, Life of Ryan, that stuff. But once I saw skateboard tricks, Particularly though, the, particularly the stuff that Daywon Song was doing and that Rodney Mullen was doing in the, um, so like some of the Tony Hawk video games. And I remember watching Daywon Song in almost round three and Rodney too, and I was just mesmerized by the tricks he was doing. I thought that flip tricks and manuals were beautiful. I was mesmerized by the aesthetic of skateboarding and from that point on I wanted to skateboard. I probably was obsessed with, so I think I was obsessed with skateboarding and wanted to skateboard from the age, about from the age of 11, but was unable to skate because I did not have a skateboard and I did not live somewhere where I could skateboard until I was 13. When I turned 13, when I was in the seventh grade, I made a move and I was able to get my hands on a skateboard and there was a skate park in town where I lived. And so I was finally able to act on my obsession and that is how it all began. Okay, clear grip is pretty different from regular grip, I will admit. It's like heavier and stickier. There we go. So what I'll usually do when I'm gripping my board is I'll take the shreds and I'll sort of fold them up into like a sandpaper file piece. And then I'll come on the edges file the edges down. Just look at that hideous cut. Clear grip is like it has, it's almost like it has salt on it. The grains are really big, like little grains of salt, little grains of sea salt. Wow, it's convenient to be able to poke the holes through from the top. You can actually see where they are. And there it is, a clear gripped, almost skateboard deck. Next question, favorite skaters? I don't know, man, it's always changing, but some longtime favorite skaters, obviously, day one <clears throat> and Rodney, uh, but also, those are like really easy stock answers that people who really maybe don't know that much about skateboarding would also give. 
really into, I've always really liked the skateboarding of Mark Johnson. I really like Mark Suchu. And then lastly, I think I'm gonna go with probably Lucas Puig. I don't know if that's his, how you say his name or not. He's a French skateboarder. He's been around for a long time. Really love his skating. Those answers are subject to change. There are tons of skaters that I know I left out that I really enjoy watching skate. Too many to list, to be honest with you. Next question. Favorite video part? Favorite video part? Favorite skate video. Let's go with favorite skate video for now instead of favorite video part. My favorite skate video of all time, I think it's gonna be a tie between Fully Flared and Transworld video from I think 2008 or 2009 called And Now. Particularly Sean Malto's part in the And Now video. My One of my favorite video parts of all time. Just because of how nostalgic it is for me. My friend had the And Now video on DVD and we watched it late into the night on multiple occasions and then would be so psyched to go out and skate all day the next day. Next question, advice for beginner skateboarders. Advice for beginner skateboarders. I'm just gonna list off this advice in no particular order of importance. I'm just gonna give you a handful of pointers, beginner skateboarders. Number one, make sure you learn how to fall. Learn how to take a fall without getting injured. This is super important because you're not gonna be able to learn how to skate. You're not gonna have a chance to get good at skateboarding if you're always getting hurt. Learn how to fall. Number two, don't worry so much about learning tricks as fast as you possibly can. Your number one main priority as a beginner is to get comfortable riding your skateboard. Get comfortable riding and pushing before you do anything else on your skateboard. Number three, as long as you're not skating a cheap piece of garbage from Walmart or Target and you're buying from a legitimate source, like a skate shop or an online skate store, the your setup isn't really going to matter. As long as you're not riding cheap garbage plastic trucks, as long as you're riding trucks from a legitimate skateboarding company, wheels, bearings, deck, all from a legitimate skateboarding company. As a beginner, the, the differences between different board shapes different truck sizes, different brands, as long as we're talking about professional skateboarding brands, is going to be negligible. You're not gonna notice a difference. It's not gonna make a difference for you. The only thing that might possibly make a difference if you're a beginner is board size, depending on the size of your feet, the size of your body. But brand, not a big deal. I wouldn't worry about it. Get something that you can afford you need to get comfortable riding that thing. You just need something you can stand on that's stable. Even people who are more advanced at skateboarding have tricks that they cannot do that they have to work on. I like to work on tricks that I'm not already good at by myself, probably because I'm too proud for my own good. When I go to the skate park, I like to do tricks that I'm already good at. I would advise not being like me in that respect. Don't be afraid to fail because you have to fail, especially in something like skateboarding, you have to fail before you can succeed. Number five, this one may be controversial. I don't know, I don't feel like it should be, but if you are a beginner skateboarder, I would honestly recommend wearing a helmet, at least a helmet, until you learn how to fall properly. The statistics suggest that most head injuries sustained by skateboarders are sustained either by people riding longboards in the street or by people who are rather inexperienced trying to skate transition. 
seasoned skateboarders do not hit their heads very often. I'm not saying it's impossible or that it can't happen or that you're stupid for wearing a helmet even if you are really good at falling. I think there is wisdom in that. I feel confident enough about my own ability to fall well that I don't feel that it's necessary for me to wear a helmet. But if you're a beginner and you have not mastered the art of falling, I would suggest wearing a helmet. Number six, watch tutorials. Watch skate tutorial videos on YouTube. Watch my tutorials. Watch others' tutorials. It can be really helpful to have someone try and explain something to you. It can really help speed up the learning process for someone who understands to explain the, how it's done to you. There you have it, guys. That is my 8.5 almost skateboard deck with clear grip tape job. What do you think? Do you like the clear grip tape? I think it looks pretty sick, actually. I'm pretty satisfied with it, even though, even with these like wrinkles that are here because I did a bad job laying the sheet down, I also have this like little gap where I pulled the van sticker up and the grip tape isn't really stuck down. But I don't think those will be turn out to be serious issues. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm pretty satisfied with this setup. I'm excited to skate it. I hope that I answered some of the questions that you guys would have asked if I had a bigger following or if I had a, advertised my Instagram, my Instagram page just a little bit better. I hope you feel like you got to know me a little better. I hope that this video has helped me to become more charismatic and better at talking and communicating with you guys. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for video topics that you'd like to see in the future. And again, thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for 100 subscribers. I know that may seem like nothing to a lot of people out there, but to me, it's really meaningful. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you on the channel next time. Keep shredding.